Now for a quick instructional video on how to play the balls. First of all, when holding the ball, it's important not to put your thumb on the side of the ball because that's going to muffle the sound. And also with the fingers, we'll keep them flat as possible, not gripping like that, especially on the smaller balls. They need to be resonant on the flat of the hand. Because if we grab it, there is no more sound uh, length of tone. Two ways to play the ball are with the leather side of the uh, stick or the wood side. The leather side produces a smooth, fundamental sound. The wood side gets a high-toned harmonic, and if you want to isolate the harmonic, you can do it with the wood side, and then bring it down again for the fundamental tone with the leather. So we have two tones, generally, that we can play on the balls, the fundamental and the harmonic. And be sure to keep those fingers flat. You can hold the stick in the middle, kind of like writing a pen with a pen, and at a 20, 30 degree angle to the edge, as you can see here. If you go like this, you're not gonna get a sound. And only go as fast as you need to produce the sound. You don't have to whip around the ball like that. You want to go as slow as you can, but produce that sound. If you go too slow, the sound won't happen. But uh, if you pick it up, go at a just a nice, decent pace to get that nice, beautiful sound. Same thing with the leather. Be aware that not all bowls play good with the leather. Most do, but some don't. And some bowls are better just for the, the hit, more so than the spin. This one happens to be good at everything. Now for a general description of the ball, we have the uh, side of the ball, of course the diameter. and the bottom with my name on it and the interior. Sometimes you'll have designs inside and out, sometimes plain. But you want to go for the sound. A nice clear sound and a robust sound is best. And something that lasts a long time. Different mallets we can use as well. Like with an easy reach mallet, this is a harder mallet on the head for a more pronounced upper tone. And this is a long mallet so you can reach bowls further away from you. You can get the same similar sound hitting with the leather on the stick or a high pitched sound lightly tapping and you want to tap at an angle if possible like that and very lightly you don't want to slam the ball because you could break it you can also use on a small ball like this if you need portability a tiny little mallet like that will work just fine and will produce a slightly different tone than the bigger mallet and if you want to go to a huge mallet, some bowls that will work on and some bowls not. So I have to hand hold this one for the big mallet to work. And if you want a soft hit on the ball, use this bigger mallet for a nice full Soft hit, also a smaller mallet like this will work fine. 
for a little bit of a lighter area in. And this now brings out the lows more. Another way to do it is to use something like this mallet. And this is red wool. And you get a similar sound. Not exactly the same, but similar. And you can have the option of doing this too with the wood. There is no leather on this mallet though, just wood and wool. One more thing, if you play your bow on glass or wood a lot, such as in a yoga studio, these uh, steady rings will really hold that bow firmly. So it won't, it won't move or slide or anything. This pillow will hold the bow at two, three inches high if you need that. And this will stabilize the bow on any surface. And also are very portable. You can, if you have a lot of bowls, these won't take as, up as much room as a lot of pillows. And the next option would be a ring like this, which also is more stable than the pillow, but takes up more room than the uh, steady ring made of rubber. And on this bowl, it kind of muffles it. So sometimes you have to pick the support with care because some support may work with one bow and not so well with another, even if the same size. And even these, if they're too big or too small, might not work well with a certain bow or another. So there we have it as a basic instruction for how to play your ball. Hope this helps you out. And we'll see you next time.